Thanks for being with us. Vice President Mike Pence making his case for why schools in America need to reopen. It's a story only on Local 5 tonight. Local 5 Chief Political Correspondent Rachel Droz is live in Ankeny tonight. And Rachel, does the Vice President think schools across the country can safely reopen this fall? Yeah, Jack, he acknowledges that some schools may have to delay reopening in certain cities Joey, or counties, like but closer, Vice President Mike Sent says he feels kids need to get back into the classroom, and he says the CDC agrees. You know, it's important to remember what, what we know about the coronavirus, and that is that, that the, the risk to healthy children of the coronavirus is very low. Uh, and, and we can take steps in our schools as the CDC has directed uh, and as Governor Reynolds is, is implementing that would protect any faculty that might be vulnerable and also take into consideration the need for social distancing and additional hygiene measures. Vice President Pence says when kids aren't in the classroom, they don't just fall behind academically. He says students with disabilities may not get the support that they need. He also mentioned underprivileged kids may have a tough time getting access to the school nutrition programs. Yeah, I know opening schools very vital to the administration's plan, Rachel. And then what about the opening the economy? Do, do these two go hand in hand? Yeah, Jack, Vice President Pence says not only is the CDC recommending safely reopening, Vice President Pence says America needs them to reopen, parents need them to reopen so that they can return to work since many of them use schools as child care. Jack. All right, Rachel Droz reporting. Thanks so much. Earlier this month, Governor Kim Reynolds signed a proclamation ordering schools to prioritize in-class learning. Schools can apply for waivers from the state if they feel they can't bring students back. Parents can also choose if their students will learn remotely or in person.